Welcome to Adventures in Photography. My name is Stanley Earl Conrad. This series of tutorials in Photoshop will demonstrate how to make good photographs into great photographs. The title of this tutorial is the Amazing Quick Mass Tool. It is a tool that is very easy to use and is used for creating selections, which we will do right now. The Quick Mass Tool is located right here at the bottom of the toolbar. Click on that, then click on the D key on your keyboard to set the background and foreground colors to black and white. Then hit on the X key to toggle them and make sure that black is the foreground color. Go up and grab the Brush Tool, make sure you have a hard brush, and begin by making the butterfly larger. And what we're going to do is go around the perimeter of the butterfly with this, just like this and you want to stay inside of the edges as much as possible. Now if you spill over like that, all you have to do is hit the X key and it changes this and it becomes an erasing tool just like that. So go around the perimeter of the butterfly just like this and I'm going to stop the recording and show you what it looks like when it's finished. The perimeter is now finished and I've chosen to go around the flower because in the later editing I don't want to edit the butterfly at the same time as the flower. So. Go up and grab the paint bucket tool and click anywhere in the butterfly. Now you need to make sure that there are no open gaps in your perimeter, otherwise everything will get selected. But do this, click it twice, one, two, and then there's a spot right here, one, two. Now there is the finished selection with Quick Mask. Now to check the accuracy of your selection, go to the Quick Mask tool and click on it, and then you've got the typical marching ants of a selection. What you want to do at this point is enlarge the image and walk around the selected area and make sure that there are no gaps in it that there's no excesses or things you've missed if you have missed or have excess you can simply go back to the quick mask icon click back on the brush tool and either use the white to remove or the black by toggling the X to add back in when you're convinced that your selection is final go up here to the select menu come down to save selection and right in this box here type in a file name like butterfly and click OK. Alright, let's see how we can use this selection to really enhance this picture. Go up to the select menu, come down to load selection, click on this button here, click on butterfly and click OK. There's your selection. Now let's go up to the adjustments menu and we'll click on levels. You can use any of the adjustments with this process. Let's uh, brighten the butterfly up a little bit and let's put a little bit more contrast in it by moving these sliders like this. Let's go just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Now these areas right in here are burnt out, but you can use the same mask and brush those back to where they were from the beginning. Now let's try one other interesting thing. Go back up to Select, go to Reselect, go to Select again, go to Inverse. Now we're working on the entire field except the butterfly. So let's uh, try something with that. We'll go to Adjustments, we'll pick uh, here back to the adjustments area pick levels and we'll try something different let's try darkening the background or making the background real light but you can see that you can use any adjustment in any fashion to do this now let's see if we made it really dark okay now here's another adjustment within an adjustment go to that same dark one right click on that hit blending options grab the opacity slider and you can control the darkness within the other adjustment I went ahead and created another quick mask selection of just the flower and its petals. I wanted to be able to adjust it independently from the butterfly or the background. Here's a picture of that selection. I've also used these selections to do some enhancements to the butterfly. If you'll check the layers palette here, watch the butterfly carefully and you can see that I sharpened it using just the selection so the sharpening went nowhere else. I sharpened just the flower which is going on and off at this point and I made the image brighter. So you turn these all on at once, get rid of the layers palette, and you've got a pretty nice overall image. All this using the selections with the Quick Mask tool.